Hello, all my friends, especially ones that consider themselves part of the mountain family. By the way, your job is to bring more into the family. <laughs> We're in that season where Jesus has just sent out all the early disciples. And we might remember they weren't ordained, but they were disciples, students. They were women and men, some of whom saw him in his resurrected spirit presence. What a renewing experience. And what they chose to do is, I think, what we need to do in our world today. Receive the spirit of renewal, the joy of being new. It comes with Easter. You may have another way of naming it. But the Easter life is the richest one that we as Christians know because we believe the life and light of Christ burns in us and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit dwell within us and in the world. Now, creatures called humans aren't just privilege. All creation has come forth from Christ. So those are big words for Dan Riley to start with, but I'm excited that in this new time, we can live the depth of time with each other, taking time. So as you move into spring and probably see jobs around your house, your home, your neighborhood, I'd say take some time. The roses may not be out yet, so I won't say smell the roses. I'll say go over to a, a bush that is blossoming or a tulip that came out early or a child that is smiling up at you. There's a freshness in the world that we need to recognize when a lot of it seems to be painfully old or falling apart. There is new within us and around us. I feel that as I return from a three month sabbatical, I like to call it a mini sabbatical. because It was, <laughs> if, it, if it had been three months longer, it would have been three months longer and probably still mini, but it was wonderful to be out in the desert to paint be a place of quiet, to be with our Franciscans on the West Coast for a while, to travel with some of our students and Brother Joe and Joe Flanagan to three different cities, two in particular. So that, that renewed my heart for what we do at the mountain. And now it's a time of renewal at the mountain. Uh, believe it or not, we're moving into our 40th year, celebrating it. And uh, that was in November and October, way long ago, that we decided to purchase the land, at which time we had to incorporate in order to do that. We already had the energy for this. We did not yet have the name. We had the longing for what we call Mount Irenaeus today. I'd invite you, as I mentioned that, and complete this little video to you, to be on guard and look out and and set, tell us how you'd like to celebrate it with us. We'd like to find ways especially of rejoicing in the life we have, but the life we're called to live and the new life that the mountain might offer the world to join with Jesus Christ and make all things new. It's a new time. It's a new time for all of us. And even though it doesn't look that way, it's a new time for the world and for Mother Earth. 